Okay, here we go, Mr. Esposito. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Esposito, 6th grade science, Ralph Chandler Middle School, and... And Mr. Goff, 6th grade math, Ralph, Ralph Chandler, Chandler Middle School. School. Tell them a little bit about what's going on today, Mr. Goff. Okay, you know what? Today we had our last lesson in uh, uh, Math 6, talking about the volume of cylinders. But you know what? More importantly, we've got... Uh, don't take that away. I know. We've got Pi Day tomorrow. Pi Day. Pi, Pi Day. Day. Okay, so you're... Pi Day your... time! That's right. Pi Day time. So, if you have any round foods that you want to bring in tomorrow... Or drinks, bring them on in with some napkins, preferably uh, cups, paper plates, whatever. And we're going to have a little pie day. We're going to be measuring our ground foods, talking about the radius, the, the circumference, the diameter, and the area of these foods, and then we're going to eat them. It's going to be fun. Okay. And then on Friday, everybody, Friday, Friday time, right? Yeah. Friday time. There we go. We have our projects do our pie day projects okay do now some people are already turning them in here's one look at this you brought in a pizza box has the big pie symbol on the front and then inside oh info about pie. pie here's another one it's a you know if you need to know anything about it just go to my um the link on my web page it tells you all about this project we're doing oh look at this here's one. another one that someone already brought in look at this poster pie. Pie. That Oh, yeah. things going on, man. That's right. So that's what Very this exciting. week is really all about. It's mm. Pi Day and the pre presentations, the projects, and if anyone can memorize numbers of pi, um, the person who memorizes the most gets a prize. And now what's the record for the pi memorization? You know what? I think the first year we had it, we had a good, I think last year we had someone who got 200 and some maybe. I have a student in my class right now who says he has 501 oh, numbers of pi. I memorized. think that he'll be the winner for the three years, for four the, years. Yeah, for the entire school he probably might. this year for sure. Yeah. So anyway, that's fun stuff going on. Mr. Esposito, what's Mr. going on? Mr. Esposito, what do we do today in class? Moms and dads, we're going over the convection currents that affect, affect that, that, that occur along the equator, the temperate zones, and... The polar regions. Now, at, at zero degrees, 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and at 90 degrees, in the direction of which that these uh, currents actually travel. Obviously, when you're along the equator, where that red, red line is, the heat's going to rise like that, and it's going to sink, and that's going to be called the convection current. That's okay. what these represent. Later on, we're going to add a little bit more to this, but tomorrow, we have the reading presentations that Mr. Mr. Goff has already done at the beginning of the year. Yep. This quarter, it's science turn. So, yep. we're going to be presenting those tomorrow. Moms and dads, you can check out my link, and on my, I'm on my homework assignments. My Wednesday says, click here. You're going to click on there. It's going to take you to Mr. Goff's site right. to show you what he did with his students earlier on in the year and how they're going to be corrected and graded. Here's an example right here. Here's a little ABC booklet, okay? And he brings you through each page. A stands for accidentally, Greg accidentally pointed on the wall or painted on the wall at school. And you go through each page and he goes all the way to uh, Z. He has a letter for, every, for uh, uh, something in the book. Letter everyone. for everything that happened in the book that wow. was important. And this, once That's I read this, say. he's going to present this. I'm not reading it. He's going to present it tomorrow and I'm going to check it off with the rubric. Here's one, okay? Yep. The caliber of what we're looking for. Here's two. Another one. Excellent job. And another one, three. She did a little... Um, Collage. Collage with the pictures there. Excellent job. This is what we're looking for tomorrow. Hello, moms and dads. And on the back, here we go. She did a little write-up of key points and key topics. Even she even gets has some quotes here, some key quotes oh, wow. that were in her book. This is a A. This is excellent, mom and dads. This is what we're looking for. This is the caliber that we're going after. So if anybody comes in tomorrow, but Mr. Esposito, I didn't know what to do. I told you I had this on video up on YouTube. I know what to you uh, you know what to expect. And it's been up on my board for I don't know how yep. many weeks. It says the 14th, 15th, and 16th presentations are due. That's right. Tell there, a little bit. This is basically what these are. Are they've read the book? And they are doing a book report, but it's not a normal old write up a book report. It's mm -hmm. do be be imaginative, show what the book is about in a fun way, and that's mm -hmm. what these people are doing. That's what the project is about. That's right, and it's not only like we did one for uh, math, did one math class. They yeah. did one in English, I believe. Social studies. I uh, think social is studies. English and is last, I believe. They're doing one for me this quarter. Now remember, moms and dads, it doesn't have to be about science. No, it has to be a book really in general. Not. Okay, yeah. and they've known that they had to do this the whole year. And they've known all quarter because we made a video like this telling them that, we, that was going to be due what? How many weeks ago? Oh, we weeks, weeks ago. Weeks ago. Yeah. And you've probably seen them do two other projects like this. It's, yeah. it's a one every nine weeks is basically mm -hmm. what it is. And so one each um, 
quarter subject. Yep. One in each subject. And they will get a minor grade, but it's not a classroom grade. It's going to be a quiz grade, right? Yeah. Quiz grade, which is still... That affects their grade. So, That's Mr. True. Esposito, was it just... No, it's not just a grade, like a, a, a grade that doesn't matter. It's a minor grade. So, it's going yeah. to affect your grade big time. Take advantage of it. You already did your reading. We read every Thursday here in classroom. So, do your reading. Do a little summary of what, what happened, what the book was all about, a little presentation. Hopefully, you do something great. Okay, okay, anything else to say, Mr. Gorf? That's it, I think. All right, excellent. Two thumbs up, Mr. Gorf. And Mr. Esposito, Rauch right. Chandler Middle School. That's right.